over in the weeded truck department here. There's a piece. I used to run that. That's my only self-loading log truck experience as of making this video. Here's a 58 or 9 Kenworth. Here's the Darling. It makes you feel old when you see this. It may feel old. So my dad and I, we bought that in Prince George at the Ritchie Brothers sale in January 2002. I featured it a few times or made mention of it. It says Country Picker on it. It had a really good engine, 220, uh, 220, 350 Cummins, 400 Cummins big cam that had been fresh rebuilt like a year before. It's a Barco 130, not a joystick. It's got the valve bank, the four levers, the foot wobble. It wasn't a bad old rig. It's done loading logs. That was probably one of the last ones ever run it. Back in 2000, it would have done full death probably by 2005-ish or 6. Kind of a shame, but that's what happens. This channel's proof of it. So they all had a story. That's probably the, one of the only ones I've got with a real connection to. That old logging truck sitting in the weeds. That I've got pictures of it when we're using it. We drove it down to the lower mainland here out of Prince George, dark at night. All right, I'll combine this. There was something else sitting over here. Oh, is that a recute? You gotta be an equipment person to understand when you see something, find amusement in it. Is that an Adams? Alice Chalmers. Man, that's something a guy almost wants to bring home. Gas engine. Updraft carb. Or it's like a Continental or something. Boy, she's clean. Well, it's got chains on it, and the rubber bungee is not too bad so it's probably worked in the last three four years hmm. that's a sweetheart hmm. never wanted a grader but when they're this small it's hard not to sneak one home i'll have to ask him about it Darn, that's neat. As my dad used to say, cute as a bug's ear. Basic info there. Well, and the spools are tight. Not all slopped out. Thanks for watching.